The White House is known as an office for the president and a home for the first family, but it's also a museum housing a large collection of art. As the nation has grown and changed, so has the collection with art that offers uniquely American stories from diverse and innovative artists. Henry Asawa Tanner was one of the most distinguished African-American artists of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Born to a reverend father and formerly enslaved mother, Tanner faced challenges of racism in the U.S. He moved to France in 1891, where his skill as an artist was appreciated. Tanner's Sand Dunes at Sunset, Atlantic City, is the first painting by an African-American artist in the White House collection. It was added to the collection in 1995 and hangs in the green room on the state floor. The painting features a windblown beach surrounded by rising dunes. To emulate the texture of sand, Tanner mixed sand into his pigments. Martha Greta Kempton was born in Vienna, Austria, and became a notable portrait artist after moving to the United States in 1926. She painted portraits for many famous American officials and luminaries, eventually painting the official portraits of President Harry S. Truman and First Lady Bess Truman, making Kempton the first woman artist to paint portraits of both a president and first lady for the White House collection. Simi Knox is the first black artist commissioned to paint a presidential portrait. Born in Alabama, Knox moved north to escape the racism and segregation of the American South. In 2000, Knox was selected to create the official White House portraits for President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Clinton. Clinton's straightforward nature is communicated in his pose. His hand rests on the Resolute desk with a collection of military challenge coins behind him. First Lady Hillary Clinton stands beside a table displaying her book, It Takes a Village, and a piece of 200th anniversary White House china. Georgia O'Keeffe was one of the most well-known women painters of the 20th century. Her 1930 painting, Mountain at Bear Lake, Taos, was gifted to the White House collection in 1997, first hanging in the green room and currently hanging in the library. O'Keeffe's unique style was heavily influenced by time she spent in New Mexico. Mountain at Bear Lake, Taos depicts a scene on Taos Pueblo land in New Mexico and is emblematic of O'Keeffe's style. The placid waters of Bear Lake give way to minimalist mountains that still carry a sense of enormity as they rise to meet a soft orange sky. Jacob Lawrence was one of the best-known African-American painters of the 20th century, notable for his portrayals of the black experience in the Americas. Born in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Lawrence studied at the Harlem Art Workshop and was employed as an artist for the Works Progress Administration. His 1947 painting, The Builders, was acquired for the White House collection in 2007 through the efforts of First Lady Laura Bush and hangs in the green room. Lawrence uses his trademark crisp shapes and colors to depict a busy construction site. Men of all colors work side by side. Their exaggerated features and postures convey a sense of activity and energy as they work to build together. Alma Thomas was born in Georgia, but moved to Washington, D.C. as a young adult. After becoming the first graduate of the art department at Howard University in D.C., she taught art at Shaw Junior High School for 35 years. Her 1966 work, Resurrection, was added to the White House collection in 2015, where it hung in First Lady Michelle Obama's renovated family dining room. Thomas's later works, like Resurrection, focused on abstract shapes and solid colors. The addition of Resurrection made Alma Thomas the first African-American woman to have her art in the White House collection. Isamu Noguchi was born in Los Angeles, but spent most of his youth living in Japan, returning to the U.S. as a teen, and later studying medicine. Noguchi soon found that sculpture was his true calling and became one of the most prolific sculptors of the 20th century. During the Second World War, Noguchi voluntarily entered the Poston Relocation Center incarceration camp for Japanese Americans, where he remained for six months. Throughout his career, Noguchi collaborated with many other artists and also designed consumer goods. In 2020, Noguchi's bronze sculpture, Floor Frame, was acquired for the White House collection with the assistance of the White House Historical Association. The sculpture will be added to First Lady Melania Trump's renovation of the Rose Garden in 2020, making Osama Noguchi the first Asian American artist represented in the White House collection. The American story is one that continues to be written. The White House, with the assistance of the White House Historical Association, will continue to tell this story for the benefit of all Americans. To learn more, 
visit us online at whitehousehistory.org.